What's going on everyone? Pause here and welcome to Dragon Quest Builders. I'm not going to sit here and tell you a story about Dragon Quest. I had no idea about this game until today, which is... Well, I guess yesterday. I'm recording this at like 1 in the morning today at uh, the, October 12th. So, uh, yeah, I saw Dan's game play this. I went and looked, and this game has confused me from the very beginning because... I was looking at when it released, and apparently it released back in January, but then like it said it was like released. I don't maybe it released in Japan on like the the f January or whatever. But anyways, this is like a JRPG with building in it. And like I said, I saw my uh, my good friend Dan's Gaming over at twitch.tv slash Dan's Gaming playing it, and I thought it looked good. He seemed pretty bored with it, but I don't know. Everyone experiences games differently. Anyways, we're going to start this out. Chapter 1, Cantlin, a land of plains and plateaus in southern Alephgard, which was once home to the formidably fortified city. I already created my character, so I hope you guys are okay with that. There's not much creation. You choose your hair color and eye color and everything. So thou art before me at last. I am the Dragon Lord, Master of Masters, King of Kings. Long have I awaited this moment. Come, take thy rightful place at my side. Do so, and I will grant unto thee dominion over half this world. Thou wishest not for half the world? Wilt thou not reconsider? Tis an offer few would refuse. So, obviously, with it being a JRPG, there's probably going to be a lot of readings, so this might not be the game for you if you don't enjoy people reading. I'm, I'm all about the lore, so I'm going to read everything as possible. Pause. At long last, I have found you. A single foolish choice has plunged this hollowed land into darkness. Beneath benighted skies, my children crawl as insects on the earth, powerlessly awaiting their own destruction. Only by the power contained within you may this ruined world be rebuilt. Within you may this ruin... I, I don't know if that makes any sense in my brain. It may make sense in your brain, but it does it in mine. Arise, my child. Your destiny awaits. Look at us. It's cute. It's very, very adorable. And that's what I liked about this. Pause, my child. You have finally awoken. Do you remember who you are? Do you remember what you are? I see. So you have no recollection of before. No matter. Indeed, perhaps it is for the best. After so long a slumber, no doubt your body will still be weak. Arise, my child, and see that you can move freely. Let's get moving. Use the left stick and circle to jump. Have a run around and stretch your legs. Obviously, I know, I, I played like just five minutes of it just to see how it was, and it seemed really adorable and all that, so I'm, I'm very, very excited. Anyways, we have to just jump around and, you know, thank goodness, all seems to be well. You can fulfill your role. Pause, my child. I have awoken you that you might perform a vital task. A task upon which the fate of this very world may... What? I do not doubt that you might feel a little poorly, but is not the fate of the world more important than... Oh, my poor child. It is true. You are nearly at death's door. It seems your lengthy slumber has robbed you of your strength. Here, my child. Take these white petals. You can use them to restore your vitality. I don't know why I said petals. Petals. Pause obtained his first handful of white petals. Good! Pause. You have been blessed with a special power. The power to combine raw materials to build items anew. You can work at this tree stump. Use the white petals you gathered to prepare some healing cream. Oh my god, let's just, just make some cream and just rub it all over our body. It's going to be delicious. Uh, you can use materials you collect to build new items. Try using the nearby crafting station to craft some healing cream. So yeah, if we go up to this little tree stump here, we can go up here, press X, 
it seems like a relatively easy crafting system. So hopefully, like I said, I haven't played too much, so hopefully it won't be too difficult. But yeah, as you can see, we have a couple things. But right now, with the items that we currently have, we're supposed to be making the healing cream. So let's go over here. A pallet... Palidia? Pal... Palliative paste? Oh my god! This is really testing my, my reading skills. And clearly, they are very poor. Uh, palliative... Paste of pure white petals. Restores 15 HP. Boop, 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 boop. And there we go. All right, look at my character. There we are. Oh my god, we are definitely adorable. Wonderful. You have made your first creation. Pause, my child. You have a power shared by none other in this world. The power to build new things from raw materials. Now, use the healing cream you created to tend your wounds. Press square to use tools and items. I like how I it just like... You know, slowly, slowly progresses into the, the controls. Uh, you can use items by selecting left and right on the D-pad, and then pressing square, you can use the healing cream you made to restore your HP. So obviously, that's the only thing on our bar. That's where our cursor was. So let's just press, press square there. Do you feel better now? I see the color has returned to your cheeks. You created that healing cream with your own two hands. However, the men and women who inhabit this world have lost that power of creation. Pause, my child. A sacred duty rests upon your young shoulders. You must... Hmm. Well, yes. I quite understand that you wish to leave this place, but first you must learn of your... <sighs> Very well. I will show you how to build a path out of this crypt. First, take this broken branch. I mean that, that broken branch behind me and to the right. Whoop. There we go. Pause obtained his first broken branch. Well done, Pause. Within that humble broken branch sleeps a cypress stick, the simplest of weapons. Approach the tree stump as before and use it to craft a cypress stick. All right, so we go here, press X, go all the way down to our weapons. We have the cypress stick right there. A broken branch whittled to work as a weapon. Attack plus one. Only one. That seems pretty weak. But yeah, I, I, as you can tell, I have like purpley slash pinkish hair with hazel eyes, and that's all we could change. And our sex. So, like I said, not not the the creation's not too in depth, so you guys didn't miss uh, too much there. Congratulations, my child. You have created your first weapon. Mankind once made tools and used them to build a thriving civilization. And as all great civilizations do, so too they built weapons. But now only you have the power to build such things. Pause, my child. I, I get it, okay? I'm your child. I, I get it. You don't need to continuously call me pause, my child. You have been entrusted with a divine mission to... Hmm. I can well imagine you are eager to see the world outside, but would you not rather learn more of... <sighs> Very well. To build a path out of here, first, you must equip the weapon you have made. Press X to open the main menu and place the cypress stick in your hand. Uh, weapons and armor are no use to you unless they are equipped. Press X to open the main menu and then select equipment to equip the items of your equipment bag. So we just press X, go over to our equipment. There we go. We have our ragged rag, our ragged rags. Love it. Uh, and there we go. So we want to equip that. Perfect. Well done. Weapons are not only useful for fighting monsters, they can also serve to gather materials. The power to break objects apart and reduce them to raw materials is yours, and yours alone. Ever since this world was plunged into darkness and mankind lost this power, they have awaited the coming of one with the ability to create. Pause, my child. The dreams, the hopes, the very fates of our people of this world rest on your shoulders. If this land is ever again to see the light, you must fulfill your sacred duty and... <sighs> Clearly, this story is boring my character. Wake up, buddy. Hey. Pause? You're not asleep, are you? <sighs> Perhaps it is best we continue this conversation outside. To build a path out of this place, first you must break apart and collect the nearby earth. Uh, press triangle to break things apart and turn them into materials that you can use to pick up. Smash the earth around you and collect ten earth blocks. Yeah, 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 
Ooh, so it looks like we have a swing radius of like three. That's good to know. So two more. There we go. Perfect. Well, we have 11. Let's just say we're a bit of an overachiever here. Well done, pause. That should be enough. Press square to place the blocks of earth on the ground in front of you. That's not in front of me. That's actually to the left of me. I have marked a location for you in red. Place a block of earth there to build a stairway and escape from this tomb. Uh, placing blocks, so we just want to move to easy peasy. So obviously if we had more, we can obviously go to our inventory via the D-pad. So there we go. Let us jump up here. Oh man, the... I don't know why, but uh... Oh. Man, I can't get it there we go and I guess we don't need to do that but uh, man the, it's gonna get weird it's gonna take some time to, to get adjusted to these controls I've never really used controls like this I've never played like a crafting game and as you kind of can tell from uh, the the story the people have lost their ability to create and so like I said they made a, an RPG out of cr like crafting and all that so it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit weird I'm, I'm, like, super excited about it. I have no idea how long we'll play this for, but uh, I guess it just depends on how interesting it is. So far, I'm having a lot of fun. Like I said, it's a very cute game. Well done, Paws. You found your way back to the outside world. When your eyes adjust to the brightness, you will see the world of Alephgard before you. Light was lost to this land long ago, and now darkness reigns eternal. The people who inhabit this somber realm once had the power to create until it was wrenched from them. Without it, their culture crumbled into... Oh no, I accidentally pressed X by accident. Pause, my child. You have been entrusted with a momentous mission. Only by the power you hold, the power to create, can this world be rebuilt, and the people of Alephgard arise once more. I beg your pardon? What do you mean you don't get it? Forgive me, my child. After having only just awoken from such a long slumber, this must all come as quite a shock. Let us adopt a more simple approach. Use the power of creation that dwells within you and rebuild this world however you see fit. No doubt you will fulfill your duty in the course of doing so. So too will you come to learn of the tragedy that befell this world and the role you are to play in its salvation. I am Rubis, the spirit of the land. Go forth, my child, and know that I do watch over you always. E even when I poop? Oh, and pause. There's one last thing that you must know. You are not a hero. If nothing else, remember this. Wow, dude, that's that's uh, kind of incredibly rude. Kind of discouraging, actually. You're not a hero. But yet I'm, like, entrusted with this mission just to not be a hero? Cantlin Plains, the ravaged realm. The land you see before you was once known as Cantlin. Long, long ago, a bustling city thrived here, ringed all around with stout fortifications, but all was destroyed in the relentless attacks by the monsters. Scarcely a trace remains of its former greatness. Pause, my child. You must use the power within you to rebuild the city of Cantlin to its former glory. This will be the first step on your journey to make Alavgard arise once more. To this end, I bestow unto you a gift. Woohoo! We got a flag! I've never been so excited for a flag in my entire life. Take this banner of hope in hand and seek the source of the light you see before you. Even as the darkness closed in around them, the men and women of Cantlin flew this flag to the bitter end. Plant the banner in this land once more, that its bountiful light might serve as a symbol of Cantlin's restoration. Now go, make haste for the Pillar of Light. Pause obtains a banner of hope. I don't know about you guys, but I feel very hopeful carrying around this flag here. Okay, so it looks like if we like, press in the stick. Ow. right? R3 doesn't look like it's really resetting the camera. And then we can also go into bird's eye view. Oh, that's that's weird. So that's kind of like an overview so we can kind of see where we're going a little bit. 
Obviously not super useful right now. Uh, but let's go up to this little little light over here. Let's see what happens when we place this banner over here. As you can kind of see, the the world around us definitely looks torn asunder. So, all right, let's use this flag here. Yes. Dude, that looks cool. A warm and soothing light spreads all around. People near and far will be attracted by the banner's beckoning light. Look, my child, here's one already. That was fast. Uh, I'm gonna quickly say, hello, who are you? Oh my God, hi. What's this funny flag doing here? There's something special about this place. It's so bright and inviting. My name's Pippa. What's yours? If a resident of your town has an exclamation mark over their head, it means they have something to ask you. Talk to them and see what they want. Come here. I'm trying to talk to you. Pippa. What's that? You're the one who planted that flag here? Who are you? Where did you come from? You don't remember? The god has told you to come here? So you've got amnesia and you're hearing voices. That's not suspicious in the slightest. Look, I promise you I'm not crazy, Pippa. There is someone in my head telling me to come here and place a flag and you came here. Can't be fake, right? Are you real, Pippa? Oh, but this place is just so lovely. Can I live here? Pause, my child. Even with the power that dwells within you, you cannot rebuild Cantlin alone. Your first step in rebuilding this city must be to house those who join you in living here. Little remains of this dilapidated house save the door. Repair it by filling in the holes in the walls with earth. You can place blocks above you by holding L1 and below you by holding R1. Holding down square, hold down square and you will place one block on top of another. Hold it down while moving to place many blocks in succession. Take this knowledge and these blocks of earth and make this ruined house livable once more. All right. See, I told you, like there is like you actually have to build in order to complete the quest here. All right, so we got now a total of 14 blocks. So let's go into this house. Not enough space. I I I screwed it up. Uh so we want to go there, place that. Uh oh god. And one there. Up, there we go. And right there. And then of course, right there. Pause completes Pippa's request. Oh. That's incredible! I know, right? I'm freaking amazing. Wow, oh <laughs> that's incredible! The walls were all full of holes. But now they're as good as new. Huh. You fixed it. With dirt? I thought you were just a weird boy with voices in his head. But you completely fixed that broken down old house. You must have some kind of special power. Here, take these. I found them on my way here. You can have them for fixing that house for me. Heyo, we can make some cream! I'm super excited about that cream, guys. I'm not even gonna lie. Okay, so oh, she she wants to talk again. You must have some kind of special power to be able to fix up that old house like that. How did you do it? What? You've got the power to build new things. What does build mean? Pause, my child. Do you remember what I told you? Long ago, the people of this land lost the power of creation. It is your duty to help them regain this power. Anyway, I really appreciate you fixing the house like this, but it's not mu much use without some kind of light inside. Hmm, but I can't see any torches lying around here. Beside your banner of hope, you will find a mason's workstation. You can use it to build a torch. Take these materials, use them to construct a torch, and reveal to this girl the fruits of your labors. Oh my, we haven't even had dinner yet. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Pause obtained a broken branch. So what is this? We are, we got blue goo and broken ranch. You know, that kind of feels like, um, almost like a Terraria-esque type of torch, right? Because you'd kill the, the slimes and get the slime. 
Uh, so if we go here, we could build five. Absolutely. There we go. Pause makes five torches. All right, Pippa. What now? Hey, where'd you find that torch? You didn't find it. You built it? Ah, so that's what building means. You picked up stuff from the ground here and somehow changed it into a torch, right? Thanks. I think I understand. Sort of. Hey, do you think you might be able to build anything with this? If you need any more, I'll see if I can find some. Aw, yeah! We got a singular broken branch. Thank you. I can make another cypress stick. Unless you have anything else. I just realized something. You never told me your name. Pause. Pfft. What kind of name is that? It doesn't sound like you'd have any special powers at all. That's incredibly rude, Pippa. What the hell? But you can't judge someone by their name, right? Anyway, pause. You've still got those torches you made, right? We should put one in the house. Okay. A room is complete if it has walls, two blocks high, a door, and a source of light to stave off the darkness when the sun has set. Press square to place your creation wherever you wish. Go, my child, and place the torch inside the house. All right, let's do it. Open up this door here. Now, can we... We can place... You know what? Let's, let's place it, like, maybe right here. Uh, right there. Not enough space. I guess we just place it on the ground? She lied to me. I thought I could place it anywhere, but I can't even place it on walls. This, I'm, I'm very upset at. Wow, look at that. Brilliant. Now that it's all lit up, the room's perfect. You're amazing, Paws. You really do have special powers. It's hard to believe that someone who looks so dopey could be so talented. Yo, what's with these passive-aggressive remarks, Pippa? I'm just a little human. Am I human? What race are we? But you can't judge someone by their appearance, right? Yes, Pippa. Look, you should just not judge. It's 2016. People are going to be very offended if you start just judging. Anyway, thanks, Paws. Now we have somewhere to live. Yo, we got a seed of life? Heck yeah. For a room to be recognized, it must have walls at least two blocks high, a door, and a light source. If it doesn't have that, it's no room at all. Oh my god, Pippa. What else do you have? I'll tell you what else you have. She's probably going to give me the end of the episode. I'm just joking. She's not going to give that at all. I'm going to be the one that's going to be giving you guys the end of the episode here. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Dragon Dungeon Building. What the heck is it called? Oh, my God. You know what we could do this? Dragon Quest Builders. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, God. As you can tell, it's this is a brand new game. All right, we're, we'll eventually get the name down. I promise you guys that. All right. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys thought about this. I'm actually kind of excited. You know, kind of gives building a. Like, for me, I've never built in Minecraft or anything like that because it just feels weird and kind of pointless. But at least here, it gives you like a quest and all that. And I again, I have no idea how long it is. I think there's five chapters and there's like a boss at every chapter. I don't know if that's true. I just tried to look that up, and I saw five, and that was it. But I have no idea how long it's going to be. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I shall see you guys in the next one. Peace out, Girl Scouts.